What's up, guys? Robux Talk back with another draft prospect breakdown. Today will be an offensive player. Get excited, guys. It's going to be a wide receiver, Kadarius Tony from Florida. Six foot, 193. Speed is his game. Shiftiness is the name. Kadarius Tony, he was mainly an athlete early on at, at Florida. Finally learned a position. <laughs> wide receiver, 984 yards. But they used him all over the field. We're going to show that on tape. So plus, immediately, what do you know? Yeah, Kadarius was mainly used in the slot, as you're going to see here. Uh, but yeah, really came on last last season and really found, you know, some consistency with his game. But again, still a lot to work on. But he is a prospect that has just super explosive, you know, former track star. He can run very fast and makes, you know, moves like this to get separation. Uh, so very impressive from a speed point and definitely he can win downfield as you're going to see he just runs by guys again lined up in the slot um, doesn't do anything special here it's just run straight and 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 win and he can do that um, especially if he's not going to be you know pressed or anything of that nature well you're saying he's primarily a slot guy and he's primarily a speed guy I mean you're not going to ask him to be running any diverse routes early on which in that aspect I don't know if he's a first-round pick, but he's got first-round pick athleticism that way. So some team may reach, but let me look at this ability to take a screen, make it look so easy, and then get in the end zone. Get upfield quickly and score. What do you like? Super explosive, like like we said. And I agree with you. I think he's got that first-round talent, but again, he's not – I don't think he's there yet um, from a consistency level um, technique-wise – but you can see, I mean, he can get the ball naturally, natural hands catcher, and get upfield very, very quickly, as you're going to see here. And reading the blocks, too. I mean, I like how he's using his blockers to his advantage, sets it up, looks like he's going to go outside, and then fakes it back inside. I mean, he's like a little running back at wide receiver, but that's it. What, what was his position? Now you see him playing running back over here, getting the handoff, going after it, and then his shiftiness, nasty. What do you see? Yeah, he's got really good contact balance for a smaller dude. Again, he's not overly big, but man, he can make cuts on on a dime, as you're going to see here. Being able to explode after his cuts is very impressive. Being able to break tackles, contact balance, you know. So, I mean, just look at that fight, really good. So, yeah, he can be a versatile guy like this if you want to use him as a running back slash receiver. Kind of not saying he's Tyree Kill, but – you know, just the way the Chiefs use Tyree Kill, you could see that kind of, um, you know, option for Kadarius Tony. You know, here again, line up at running back. He's just going to take the handoff and just look at the speed. He runs away from people, gets upfield, fights through, still going, and then eventually tackled. Yeah, it's a rainy game, game guys. It's not, it's not your computer screen or your phone looking like this. It was just that, that one clip, but it was amazing to see. Again, he's at running back. So, I mean, what, what is his position? When you don't have a defined position, it's kind of high, hard to draft him high. But then you see stuff like this, you're like, holy hell, just get the ball in his hands and let's see what we can do. So, I mean, get the handoff. He's about to go down. No, you're not. How is his knee not snapping? I don't, I don't know. Flexibility, I guess. And then put the hand in the dirt, get upfield, denying everyone to go down. He gets upfield. I mean, this is nasty. What do you see? Yeah, he's a playmaker. And, you know, that's why I think – you know, that's where his his value is going to come at the next level because he can do so many things. He even played quarterback in high school, so you could see this guy, you know, throw the football possibly, you know, if he gets in the right scheme and a creative offensive coordinator definitely can, you know, utilize a guy like this. Um, here, again, in the backfield, now he's going to be, you know, asked to catch the football as he's going to run a, just a little out route here, catch it, stop. I mean, just look at that quick acceleration. He almost trips over his own feet. That move right there. I mean, my goodness, just wham. And then it's a, <laughs> it's a field and uh, still going. So, you know, there's concerns with Kadarius. I mean, obviously he's had some injuries, you know, along the way he's had some off the field, you know, incidents. He's also big into music and rapping. So there is some concern there. Is he all the way in on football? Um, but, I mean, if you get this guy motivated and he's all in like I think he is, um, especially the way he played last season, I mean, the sky's the limit for him. Again, here, look at the high point. Really good job just high pointing the football. Knowing contact is coming, doesn't shy away from it, makes the play, and then, you know, continues to roll forward. So, very natural um, with his ability 
whether it's out of the backfield or as a slot receiver. It, it's, that's a good convenience, right? I mean, that's something where you want to be like, oh, where can we use him? Anywhere. I mean, you're not going to use him on the, on the outside, primarily because he doesn't have the route tree just yet, but and he wins everywhere else you put him. I mean, he's a mismatch nightmare. Straight, strict speed. I mean, look at this. It does, it's not much else besides, let me just beat you to the spot, right? Uh, correct. Yeah. He's just going to, you know, run to a space here. Again, Kyle Trask does a great job of, you know, those touch passes, throwing to space. I mean, that's, that's what he did last last season a lot, and he did it very well. Um, you know, the only things he really needs to work on, like we talked about, is really the route tree and making sure he can stay healthy. Um, and then obviously, you know, just his commitment to football. But I think it is there. Uh, but yeah, he's got a lot of a lot of potential to work with here again. Yeah, just running, running downfield, a slight hesitation move at the beginning, and then it's you know, run to the daylight. His explosion out of his cuts is insane. I mean. The guy's with him here, and he's gone. I mean, reaching for air is gone. I mean, that's that's dangerous. That's dangerous ability. But it's yeah. It's sometimes it's, he's dancing a little too much, which we'll we'll show later. But I mean, he's got elite ability. Let's put it that way. But like you said here, how much how much can you dance here? What are we doing here? Is this basketball? We're trying to cross someone over. If you're looking for where he's at, bottom of your screen. Plus, talk about it. Yeah, so this is what we talked about with, you know, the route tree and the route running. So this is definitely going to need more polishing as it gets to the next level. Again, he, he wins with the shake and bake move there. But again, you can't really do that consistently at the next level. Guys are going to get into your, your body and force you to go a different direction. So he's going to have to be more polished with how his steps and his feet and all those things work. But overall, Kadiri's Tony, very explosive playmaker, a guy that you, like we said, could put in the slot or out of the backfield. Really, I would like to see him go to a team that's very creative as far as the offense goes. But guys, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to give us that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And also give us your thoughts on Kadiri's Tony. Where do you see him ending up at the next level? And with that said, until the next one.